Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Solinux Crypto. Hope you're all doing great and welcome to this uh, new video uh, on Bitcoin. Of course, your daily updates over the course of, uh, of, the, of the last, well, 12, 16 hours or so. Uh, we have seen some relief, all right, but, uh, but in general, I mean, right now, Bitcoin... Even though, like I said, we found some support at this key support level, right? We have this, we have this major support level at sixty-one and sixty-two thousand. That's also the main support level, uh, holding us up into this daily consolidation range, which we, which we are still holding. Uh, however, if you zoom in, like on the four-hour time frame, it already, like we, we don't really look consolidating. We look more bearish, and then if you zoom into the one-hour time frame or so. Uh, this is just quite bearish, all right? Not completely, uh, but if there's one thing for certain, it's more bearish than, than bullish, all right? So I just wanted to give you my thoughts, of course, today, what you need to watch, what you need to, to watch out for, but also uh, just in general, what's possible, all right? Because like I said, we did get some relief with Bitcoin um, yesterday evening primarily, and you can also see right now uh, that the open interest since yesterday evening actually did go up a little, all right? So we actually got some some orders. We actually got some new money uh, into the market. And most of those were longs, but that has stopped basically since the last, uh, well, three hours ago, uh, three hours or so ago, um, the, the momentum that we were building up, which was not a lot, all right? We were not building up a lot of momentum, but it was a little bit and it was positive, which is which is most important. Um, but it's no longer really climbing up. I mean, you could say that if this is kind of the, the momentum trend that we had, you could say that we are still trending up and it is definitely possible. Um, but the thing is, is that we're really just waiting for strong confirmation for Bitcoin. All right. Because if you look at these numbers, which are a little bit more in depth, all right. So they provide a little bit more uh, guidance of what's going on. Again, you can see here that the, that the open interest has gone up and the CVD is, is positive. And there you can also see that if you if you look at the CVD and the spot buying, yesterday we did get some serious, uh, or at least we did get some positive spot buying. And that is still positive, all right? Which if spot buyers are still holding and futures buy buyers are, are selling, I would not necessarily call that, uh, call that bearish, all right? I would actually say that that's a bullish indication. But like I also said, the, the, the amount of spot buying and the amount of momentum slash open interest that we are gaining is not enough for us to say that we can actually break out. Now, if you assume that the market structure, which I do, is a consolidation here between 61,000 and 71,500, what you would assume too is that the market structure will continue to hold. So that means that we have now hit the bottom so that we will uh, now break out above 65,000 uh, 65, or that that's at least the, the next breakout instead of a breakout below 61,000, which is what we are most afraid of. Um, so that, that's most likely. And I do agree with that. I don't necessarily think we can get up to 71,000, but I do think if you look at the, the subtle hints that we're getting, uh, like an increasing momentum, like spot buying actually being positive in the last uh, in the last uh, 18 hours or so. Um, and then also combining that with the technical situation, I would say it's most likely that we can actually get some recovery. Um, I don't think it's necessarily true, but I do think that there's the perception that the unrest in the Middle East is also calming down a bit, uh, a little. I think that's mainly just because of time. I don't, like I said, I'm, I'm not sure if that's really the case. But that would be fundamentally positive as well. Um, so I would say this breakout is most likely. But ultimately, and to end this video, uh, what I think is the smartest thing to do is just to wait for that confirmation. All right. So 61,000 main support, 65,000 main resistance. If we break above 65,000, we can get some recovery and we can get some, some momentum. Uh, but it's also still realistic, especially with the halving coming up, which makes everything uh, quite a lot more uh, unpredictable that we break down below 61,000. And if that happens, we can drop down quite a bit. 58,000 would be my, my first support level, uh, but lower is possible as well. So those are my thoughts. That's what I think you need to know for now. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.